hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love was how after the fire accident at the marriage hall then lakshmi was rushed to the hospital by rishi and the doctor made the shocking revelation that lakshmi might die lose her memory or even sleep into coma after the surgery so let's continue from there ayush comes to the hospital with his family he asks the nurse about the guy and the girl who have come here for emergency the nurse says the girl is critical and her husband got her admitted and the girl is pregnant too. Grandma says pregnant. The nurse asks, didn't you know? And she asks if you are their family. Neelam says I am the boy's mother. The nurse says he said that he has nobody in his family. Karishma says he has all the family. Neelam asks about the patient's name. The nurse says her name is Sushita. Karishma says her name must be Lakshmi and the guy's name is Rishi. The nurse says there is no patient here with this name and says maybe she is admitted in another hospital. Karishma asks Ayush if his information was right. Ayush says the information seems wrong now. Virendra says we should search for Rishi and Lakshmi in a nearby hospital where Malishka had found Rishi's car and they leave. Rishi asks the doctor if the operation is done. The doctor says yes and says Lakshmi should regain consciousness in the next three hours else Lakshmi will sleep into coma. Rishi says to the doctor that Lakshmi is a strong girl and she will not go into coma. The doctor says we have given her the best treatment, but she would have one problem even after regaining consciousness. The doctor says that Lakshmi's brain cells which are damaged are related to her memory and her memory can be affected after she wake up. The doctor says to Rishi that we have given Lakshmi the best treatment, but how effective our treatment is will be known after she regains consciousness. The doctor says we can meet her if you want and she is in the ICU. Rishi goes to the ICU to see Lakshmi, a son plays in the background. Rishi sits at Lakshmi's bedside and cries badly, keeping his head on Lakshmi's shoulder. Kiran comes to know about the fire in the hotel and she hopes that Malishka is fine. She asks Malishka if she is fine. Malishka says I am fine. Kiran asks how is Rishi. Malishka says she doesn't know and says that Lakshmi was unconscious. So Rishi was taking Lakshmi to the hospital and she found Rishi's car met with an accident by the roadside. Kiran asks Malishka if Rishi is fine. Malishka says she doesn't know and Rishi is neither calling her nor picking her call. Kiran says everything will be fine. Malishka says that unlucky Lakshmi is with Rishi and until Lakshmi is with Rishi, then nothing good can happen with Rishi or with me and Kiran hopes that Rishi is fine. Bani asks Shalu where they should go because Ayu said that Rishi and Lakshmi were not in that hospital. Shalu says even we should go and search in every hospital. Rano comes home and they inform Rano about Rishi taking Lakshmi to the hospital after the fire accident. And Rano prays for Lakshmi and she asks them to update her. So Shalu and Bani leaves. At the hospital, Rishi asks Lakshmi to get up and fight with him. He says you are not looking good while lying down like this. He says, my life stops when you don't speak. Just get up for me. He recalls his moment with Lakshmi. He says, Lakshmi, please get up. I cannot bear it. Lakshmi moves her fingers and blinks her eyelashes. And Rishi gets happy and thinks that Lakshmi has regained consciousness. Lakshmi opens her eyes and says, Rishi. The nurse comes there. Rishi asks the nurse to check Lakshmi and says, Lakshmi has taken his name. The nurse says, Lakshmi is still unconscious. Rishi says, I am not lying. Lakshmi had regained consciousness and she even took my name. The nurse says, I can understand your worry. You love Lakshmi a lot, but you said that you are not her husband. The nurse gives Lakshmi's wedding necklace to Rishi and says, we are taking the wedding necklace out before the operation. She says, we have done Lakshmi's operation well. You don't need to worry. She will be fine. And she asks him to sit outside. Rishi goes out and recalls making Lakshmi wear the wedding necklace. He thinks that Lakshmi always fulfilled her promise, but I couldn't fulfill mine and he cried. Malishka comes to the O'Brien mansion and calls Nilam. The servant says they are not at home. Kiran calls Malishka and tells her that Nilam and others had gone to a hospital, but Rishi was not there, so they went to another hospital. Malishka says this guy has troubled everyone and she hopes that Rishi is fine. Rishi comes to the temple and rings the temple bell. He then folds his hand and he recalls Lakshmi asking him to fold his hand this way and she asks him to pray to God with true heart. Rishi prays to the goddess to make Lakshmi fine and not to let anything happen to her and he cried. 
Rishi prays to the goddess and says, Lakshmi cares for everyone and says, please make her fine for me. Rishi picks the flower petals and throws it at the Matarani, asking her to make Lakshmi fine. Rishi moves back and he collides with a saint sitting there and he says sorry and says, I did not see you. The saint says, when you were praying, then your concentration are not on other things, which is good. The saint says to Rishi that today is a Kadashi day and he asks him to pray for Lakshmi. Rishi asks Lakshmi, the saint asks him to do penance before and after the auti, and he should stand with his one leg and keep two hands in his head and pray to God, then he can get God's blessings. He says it is difficult, but if you do it, then your prayers will be answered. Rishi says to the saint that I don't know if I can do this. The saint says your eyes have the will because you love Lakshmi a lot. The saint says your test starts now and he leaves. Rishi stands on his one leg and folds his hand above his head to pray. Lakshmi is shown in the hospital and Rishi continues to do the penance and he prays. At the hospital, the nurse says that the time is running and Lakshmi did not regain consciousness till now and she worries that Lakshmi might go into coma. Rishi is praying for Lakshmi still standing on his one leg and with his hands folded. The saint says that Rishi's love for Lakshmi is truthful and Lakshmi's love for Rishi is truthful too and their love would do wonders. The doctor checks Lakshmi and says she should regain consciousness because if she goes into coma, then they don't know when she will regain consciousness again. The nurse says she can lose her memory also. The doctor says anything can happen and Lakshmi might lose her life or her life can change forever if she doesn't wake up soon. Ayush thinks that only one hospital is left and that is the city hospital so they should check there to know if Rishi and Lakshmi are there. The saint keeps his hand on Rishi. Rishi falls down and says sorry. The saint says you have completed the challenge. You will get your Lakshmi now. Rishi asks if Lakshmi will be fine as before. The priest nods and Rishi gets happy while a song plays in the background. Rishi comes to the hospital and asks the nurse when Lakshmi will regain consciousness. He thinks to apply the ashes of Matarani's feet to Lakshmi and he thinks of the saint word to kiss Lakshmi on her forehead. Then his love will be with Lakshmi. He recalls the saint word that he loves Lakshmi a lot and says he have to save Lakshmi. Rishi recalls Lakshmi telling him that his mom loves him and says he loves Lakshmi. He recalls Malishka asking him that who is Lakshmi and asks if Lakshmi is a beauty queen. He recalls and a flashback is shown. Lakshmi comes to Rishi and tells him that Ayush gave her a ticket for a concert and she asks if Rishi will come with her. Rishi says he will come to the concert and then they will go for dinner and a long drive. Lakshmi gets happy that she is going to a concert with Rishi and she says she will get ready. Rishi then tells Lakshmi that he had already planned dinner with Malishka and says he slipped from his mind. He says he will go to the concert later. Lakshmi says okay and she is going sadly. But Virendra comes there. Lakshmi asks Virendra if he have any work with her. Virendra says no work and says he used to do all the work without my order and says he came to remind Rishi about the meeting tomorrow and Lakshmi goes out of the room. Virendra reminds Rishi about the meeting tomorrow and Rishi says yes. Virendra says that Rishi is worried so he asks that what is it and why did he refuse to go for the concert with Lakshmi. Rishi says he had already planned with Malishka. Virendra asks, why are you running behind Malishka? He asks, do you know whom you love? Rishi says, I love Malishka. But Virendra says, Ayush, Grandma and I knows that you love Lakshmi. And Rishi is shocked. Virendra says to Rishi that you wanted to go with Lakshmi from your heart, but your mind stopped you. He says, you used to get sad when Lakshmi gets sad, and you get happy whenever Lakshmi is happy, and this is because you love Lakshmi. Virendra says, you are attracted to Malishka, and it is just a physical attraction, or we can call it infatuation, but it is not love. Rishi says, no, I love Malishka. Virendra says, I will pray to God that you will realize who you love soon, and the flashback ends. Rishi keeps his forehead on Lakshmi's forehead and says, why am I feeling love for Lakshmi? And he asks himself if he really loves Lakshmi, and a song plays in the background. The nurse comes there and says, Lakshmi is regaining consciousness. Rishi says Lakshmi's hand moved and the nurse goes to call the doctor. Rishi calls Lakshmi and says I am here. Lakshmi opens her eyes and looks at Rishi. Rishi recalls Ayushi's words that he loved Lakshmi a lot and he recalls Virendra saying the same thing that he loved Lakshmi. Rishi holds Lakshmi's hand 
But Lakshmi just looks at him as if she doesn't know him. And Rishi gets teary eyes and he is happy seeing Lakshmi in a conscious state. But Ovinda finds that his alcohol bottle is empty and he doesn't have money. He finds only one coin in his pocket and he thinks that even poison he cannot buy. And says since Kamli came into his life, she became unlucky for him. Rishi thanks God and he tells Lakshmi that he prayed for her a lot. He asks that why did you risk your life to save me? And says see that there is bandage everywhere on your body. He asks her not to risk her life for him again. And he asks if there is any means of this life without her. And says I will not let anything happen to you. The doctor comes there and asks Rishi to go out. Rishi says Lakshmi wants to tell me something. The doctor asks Rishi to go out. Rishi says thank God. Lakshmi regains consciousness and says I will make Lakshmi understand not to take risk for me or anyone again. And he thanks God for bringing Lakshmi back to life and he goes out. Rishi's inner self comes there and keeps his hand on his shoulder. Rishi's other half comes out of his body and they both go out to talk while Rishi is still sitting on the bench. Rishi sees Lakshmi and his photo everywhere. His other inner self says I am your heart and mind and they all argue with each other. Rishi's other heart tells him that he loves just Malishka. The first inner self makes him see Malishka and his picture and says you think that you love Malishka and your mind thinks like this too but not your heart. The second inner self says even my heart feels the same. The first one says I am your heart. Everyone knows and sees that you love Lakshmi and not Malishka. Rishi tells his inner self that I love Malishka and I will marry Malishka after getting Lakshmi married to another guy. The first inner self says you are thinking about Lakshmi's happiness and the second inner self says yes, I think of her happiness because the first inner self interrupts and says you love Lakshmi and Rishi finally realizes that he loves Lakshmi and he remembers their moment together while a song plays in the background. Okay guys, so this is what led to everyone saying Lakshmi died, Lakshmi died. She did not die. So you can see that she later regained consciousness. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and share it. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.